Okay, welcome back. We are here in the next Gathering Data video, and this one is on the illness script. And so, remember what we talked about in the first video, we talked about what is clinical reasoning. It is the glue between uh, the book knowledge of a disease that you have, as well as uh, what you found on your actual patient. And we look for things, remember, in one of four different places over here. And so, what clinical reasoning does is allow you to attach these things two together and come up with a diagnosis and treatment for your particular patient. This book knowledge about a disease and all that is stored in something called an illness script. And so we're going to talk about that. The other thing that goes into illness scripts is your experiences with past patients. So maybe you've had a patient with a similar presentation in the past, uh, and that patient had described it as uh, feeling jumpy. And, and you say, oh, you know, every time I see someone with a kidney stone, they look like they're jumpy. I'm going to put that in my illness script. And so these illness scripts, you actually build them and you develop them throughout the course of your career. They are never complete. Uh, you are going to uh, add more as you learn more, as you read more to this. And as more you see more patients, you're going to add more in here. And you're going to get a better uh, description of the disease. So the illness scripts are very, very important. Here's an example of an illness script, and you can see the different components that tend to go into it. There are things called pathophysiology, that is, what causes the disease. Uh, epidemiology, who commonly gets the disease, because then you can say, you know, does my patient fit this person who typically gets it? Time course, when does it start, when does it stop, and what happens in between? And you, again, will ask to see if your patient matches uh, this time course. Signs and symptoms are things that you're going to find on history and physical. Uh, diagnostics are the results of testing and treatment just lets us tell us what's going on, right? So you're going to apply the um, illness scripts in really two areas uh, in this uh, framework. The first one is here in acquiring data. How do you know which data to collect? Remember, there was data that we collected all the time, and there was data we collected specific to a disease. And the way you know which data to collect is through the illness script. You're going to check the illness script. So you can see, you know, I have this patient here, and how do I connect, how do I know which ones uh, do I want to collect? So I come back here and I say, okay, on my history, I have these things. History and physical, I'm going to look here and testing here. And so the illness script is very important to help you get that across. Now the other thing that the illness script is good for, it helps you when you're testing the differential, when you're doing threshold testing. And we're going to talk about that a lot more later. But the more that your patient matches the illness script, the more likely they have that disease. I'm going to say that, but the caveat is that no match is ever going to be perfect. No patient will ever follow the textbook description of a disease. Uh, that never happens. Maybe 15% of the time it happens, okay? But very rarely. So the classic presentation, almost never do you see it. So what you read in the textbook, you're almost never going to see. But it's still important to know that uh, because over the course of many, 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 many patients, yeah, they kind of fit that same illness script. But I just want to let you know, don't expect certainty in medicine. It's, it's, it's always going to be a little bit imperfect. And so that's how the illness script fits here, because we want to match the patient we have in front of us to the illness script. And the better the match, the more likely they have that disease. And so once again, here is our framework. And we talked about illness scripts and where they fall. And the reason why I'm bringing this up right now so early is because when you learn information in your M1 and M2 year, you may as well start putting it into these illness scripts. Build your illness scripts now. Think about how you're going to use this information that you're learning in your M1 and your M2 year in order to differentiate between patients who may have uh, that disease. Try to figure out what's the same between two diseases and what's different between the two diseases. Remember we had that Venn diagram? See if you could find out what falls outside the areas of overlap. What are the key features, the distinguishing features, and make sure those are in your illness script. Okay, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to put them below in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.